Today's educational presentation is on the existing building commissioning process. Today we will discuss what commissioning is and what are the benefits of commissioning. So why do we commission buildings? In this picture we see a good example of why we want to commission buildings and systems. Here we see a sprinkler pipe traveling through a ceiling mounted linear slot diffuser. The slot diffuser was cut to allow it to be installed with the sprinkler pipe already installed. The supplier is being delivered to the ceiling space and not the people space. Just as people normally change their car's oil, have normal tune-ups, and conduct periodic maintenance to keep their cars performing at top efficiency, buildings can be tuned up by performing commissioning. ASHRAE defines retro commissioning as the commissioning process applied to an existing facility that was not previously commissioned. LEED version 4 operations and maintenance rating system contains three credits related to existing building commissioning. We will start with retro commissioning. We will assume that the building has never been commissioned before. As with everything, the first step is to plan. During the planning phase, potential retro commissioning project buildings are screened. Analyze the energy use per square foot for candidate buildings. Good candidate buildings for retro commissioning include unjustified high energy use, unexplained increase in energy consumption. The commissioning provider can assist the building owner with developing this document, or this document can be used as a tool to hire the commissioning authority. The owner needs to be sure to select a commissioning authority who has the technical knowledge, experience, availability, and communication skills necessary to execute the retro commissioning process. A retro commissioning plan needs to be developed by the commissioning authority for the owner or client approval. After planning the retro commissioning process, it is time to initiate the investigation. Some of the most critical information during the investigation phase comes from diagnostic monitoring and testing. This graph is an example of a finding during a retro commissioning project we recently completed. The improper heating hot water supply temperature control loop tuning may lead to excessive fluctuations, which may lead to many cycles of a heating hot water valve, which could lead to premature valve failure or potential leakage. Now we can fix the problems and verify the fixes are correct. During the implementation phase, the operational improvements selected at the end of the investigation phase are completed and verified. Now that we discovered the issues with the building, implemented and verified improvements, what did we get? How do we operate the new stuff? How do we maintain any benefits? We often hear that during our retro commissioning projects. During the project handoff phase, the commissioning authority develops reports and other significant documents that summarize the project. I would like to thank you for viewing today's educational presentation.